Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and a young lady. I'm going to need to quit saying that. I don't remember. A, a person asked me to uh, see if I could help her with his logo. And the leaves are just too, too fuzzy, too pixelized, two different shades. Uh, be really hard to trace. You can work it out. But unless it has to be that exact same leaves, if you're just making I made this like in two minutes. And so I just got a leaf off the internet. And I've cropped it down because it was part of another set of leaves. I'm going to go to. It's 300 dots per inch already. I'm going to go to convert to bitmap. I'm going to try grayscale. And you know what? Let me for the video. Let me try black and white. That looks good enough. Trace bitmap, outline trace clip art, reduce size. Even though this thing's real small, um, this will work pretty good. And you can see how I traced it. All right. So we can get rid of that one. You can see how I uh, cropped it out. Going to go to arrange, ungroup objects, grab stuff we don't need. Let's bring in a yellow box. Put it to the back, and you can see the white. We're going to grab the white and delete it. We've still got some interior white, but if we delete them, we're going to get black. So this is what we need to do. Let's get rid of this. Select your leaf. You can see we still got an out outline, but that doesn't really matter. Um, as long as we can't see it later anyway select your leaf and go up to edit find and replace find object begin a new search there's really no other way to do this uniform field next specify uniform color let's move this out of the way we're going to try to find the whites next next finish find all and then i'm going to nudge them over way over here let's make our box longer so now you can see the whites that's really too far let's go well i'll tell you what let's leave them there because i don't want to change the nudge distance now we've got all this group together so we can get out that evidently there were some specks of white and if you ever see me doing that it's because my laptop has a calculator key and and um, and see so you can always see that the box is gone but i want to back up because i don't i do not want to have it moved then i'm going to take the black and i'm going I should have locked that yellow. I'm going to go no fill in here line. Then I'm going to take this and go no fill in here line. And then I'm going to nudge it back. So now we've gotten rid of all the white. Now there are some broken parts in here. And I will always suggest to use a rectangle when you're using the smart fill tool so it won't leak get your smart fill tool and fill it on black and it really helped to zoom in that was the majority of it right there this is pretty quick and easy i think we got it now let's take our rectangle away take our box away and right click no outline i think i've got a little bit of a bubble right there yep and you can always select it and kind of move it and that's when you're going to see things that aren't there or don't need to be there now we're going to group that together Control g we're just going to draw a circle i'm not trying to mimic that thing exactly 
we'll make our leaf quite a bit bigger and we'll rotate it and we'll rotate it some more and with somebody a little bit more artistic ability than me could do a lot with this then I would suggest go control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it and move the mirror and you got to remember it's a set of leaves so it doesn't really matter and for the video I'm not going to put anything in the middle I'm going to stretch them out a little bit now I would bring in some other leaves um, you know from your I mean if, if you think that looks cool then just leave that um, you can make it make a duplicate of this control D and move it out of the way and actually make it quite a bit smaller and rotate it and make it look pretty cool now what you could do is control G to group that together control D to duplicate it get your rotation cue and turn it to the center and rotate this thing 180 degrees 180, 180, something wrong with my, can't type. And there you pretty much have your leaves. Now what you could do, and this would actually be better to do it as a red hairline because you can see it, is we need to make a second one, control D, and holding down the shift, it'll bring it in. Now, there's a lot of things you could do, and one thing I would do to make it easier would be to use the Smart Fill tool, because the Smart Fill tool should not go into the leaves. And there you have a semicircle. Now you could take it and left-click, No Outline. And then just pick your font. I got pretty close on the uh, grays, together in grays, but the I don't know what that font is. You could very easily find it. Uh, this is just a, a font that I have. Let's ungroup it. It's Gabriola. And Gabriola is pretty cool because you can change. You know, if that's too fancy, you can get your text tool. And click on that and get this down arrow. And pick you some ones that aren't quite as fancy. You know, like use that one or... Uh, make it really fancy and that wouldn't look bad with it you know the trees but I, I do think that font looks better but that's how I would do that and and just play around with it add some other shapes of leaves uh, maybe even uh, I don't know how far we can back up uh, you could add some color to the inside of the circle of the circle by using the smart fill tool and continue the circle around a little bit if that's what you like I wouldn't go through the leaves anyway I hope it helped them a little bit and thank you for watching